Welcome guys, today's video is actually based on how to use the snipping tool that you find on Windows 10. Um, what the snipping tool is used for is to actually, um, when you want to insert a picture onto a Word document or as a background image on social media or on one of your profiles or on an Excel spreadsheet, anything where you require a photo or an image to be inserted, we will be showing you how to do this by using your snipping tool. Okay, many people want to take an image that they found on the internet or insert a picture that they found on the internet but don't know how to do so. We will be showing you exactly how to take a picture from the internet and have it inserted onto a Word document. In this, well, we are on, this is our company website at the moment, so we're going to be using that as a general platform. What you can then do is once you've opened up the site, it can be any site for that matter or any picture or any site that's got the picture on or whether it's a social network, etc., that you want to have a picture taken, uh, taken that picture and, and place it somewhere else, then you will do it in this way. Um, on your search bar at the bottom, you will then click on your search bar and you will type in snipping tool. Okay. We'll then give you the option, you open up the snipping tool, we'll then give you the option of uh, having a new image, okay, or, or cutting a new image. In this case, we'll show new, mode, delay, etc. We'll be clicking on the new, okay. And in this case, then you can just decide what you want snipped, okay. We'll just take a picture of that, okay, I think that would be perfect. We've got that picture, you can then have the option of saving it. Um, you can save it as, you can save it either on your desktop, in your documents, uh, downloads, etc., wherever you'd like to have it saved. In this case, we'll just save it on the desktop. You can give your picture a name, a lady, or business, or company, etc., whatever the picture you'd like to have it called. And then you can save it either as a PNG, or as a JPEG, or as a GIF file. Um, this will be taken as a photo image, okay, or it will be saved as a photo image. And then we go and just click on the save button, and then you can just have that closed there, and we can then open up our Word document where you'd want the photo. In this case, we're going to be using a Word document. We'd like to have our photo inserted on a Word document. But as I said, once you've saved it on your desktop, you can have the photo you, you can keep the photo as a background image for social media. You can, when you go into your social network or your social media page, whether it's your Facebook or your Indeed or your Pnet or um, whether it's uh, Twitter, etc., you can always go there and you can take your background image that you've got saved on your desktop and you can use that as your profile picture. Um, you can just insert it from the desktop, okay? When it gives you the option of inserting a file, you take the file from your desktop or from your documents wherever you have the file saved. It will be the exact same as inserting a photo because the, the, the picture has been converted to a photo image. In this case, we're going to be inserting. So we'd, we want to insert the picture exactly where we want it on the document. Um, so in this case, we're going to make a text box. Um, I think we would uh, most the preferable, um, let's see, preferably we'd like to draw a text box and we'd like to insert the picture on the top left hand corner of the page okay once you've made your text box where you where you'd like to have your picture inserted then you will just right click right click on the image or right click where your cursor is and paste the option okay you will go and paste and you ta -da, your picture will appear okay you can remove your frame um, by just right clicking on uh, the outline of the text box and you format the shape and you can remove the line okay remove your outside line and there you have your picture insert you can make the picture bigger by dragging it across and by making your text box bigger okay in this case we'll just make that smaller and we'll make our text box bigger and you can even have the picture enlarged whether it can take over the whole entire page all depends on how big you want your picture to be okay so when you drive drag the left hand corner of your image um, it will actually uh, make extend the, the, the size of the picture that and okay so you just need to de increase the the width and the length of the, of the text box as well so that your picture can fall in there neatly so if you have, have a look you can minimize decrease 
um, do as you wish with the picture once you've had it snipped and placed on the document. So you can make it as small as possible, as big as possible. You can do as you see fit with that picture that you've just taken off the internet, whether it be from a website or from a, a particular program you've watched or, or, for, or for a movie scene, it, anything you can use a snipping tool to snip that particular picture that you'd like and um, you can have it placed onto your Word document. By using the snipping tool, you can actually use it on anything, whether it's an Adobe document, whether it's, a, it's a, a screen clip, whether it's from your Word document, as I said, a social network, wherever you find the image that you would like to have inserted to display onto, onto any document, you can use it on your Word document, you can use it on email, and you can use it as I've showed you now, you can also use it as your background picture, um, as a profile picture, um, as you will have it saved on your on your desktop or on your computer as a photo. Okay, so it converts automatically to a photo once you've saved it and you have it saved in your photos or you have it saved under um, on whichever specific program you're using. And when you do use it as a, as a profile picture, you will obviously go to your file when it says choose the option, then you'll choose it, it will automatically pick up and, and load or upload onto your profile network because it does it is saved as a JPEG or a GIF or um, in this case, um, we used it and we inserted it on a Word document. Okay, so guys, I hope that this video was helpful. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, the subscriber link can be found at the bottom of the screen in the video. Um, guys, uh, we do try and upload as much helpful information as possible. If there's anything that you'd like to hear from us, then please put your comment in the screen below. Um, and we'll be back shortly with crazy ideas and different ways of making your life easier. Bye-bye.